I grew up in a rabbinic family. Uh, my father's a rabbi, my mother's father was a rabbi, and I guess it was always natural that I'd go into Talmud Torah, go into learning in some respect, and I came and checked out Penn for Shabbos and kind of saw, wow, what kind of meaningful, important work we could be doing. It kind of shifted what kind of rabbi I wanted to be in a very different direction. It's teaching, it's interacting with people, it's giving shirim, it's answering questions, it's just generally helping people, and it's a lot of fun. I and mean, there are a few jobs that I know of where I feel like every part of my talents, all of my personality, everything I am is being utilized in the job. The most important training I think I got at REITs was just interacting with my Urbeim there. They kind of served as role models for me of what it would be like to teach, to answer questions, interact with other people. One of the classes that I took as part of my professional smicha requirements that has proved helpful on a daily basis was public speaking. It was kind of thinking, oh, there are skill sets you can learn to do this better. The people who are good at it actually know certain things, and that may, may not just be intuitive, and you can learn how to do it and be much better at it. I have a lot of Akar Sotov to reads, and I still look to it as my home in many ways, and I, and I still really am very thankful for everything it gave to me. I still very much uh, look to Rav Rosenzweig as my main Rebbe. Um, I'm, I've called him many times when I'm going through difficult uh, things I need some advice for. I think the fact that Reitz is known as a place of Talmud Torah, with Rebbeim of the highest caliber, that I think is so important to the community. And it needs to be important to the community, that they know that this is something that belongs to everyone. That we know our Talmudim can go and get high-level Talmud Torah and still be part of our community. We, Ritz Masmachim, should play a role in what happens next. Um, I think, while well, we were students in Smicha, uh, we kind of watch what happened and we'd react to it and talk about it. We're now going to be the rabbis and one day the leaders of the Jewish community. And that means we can't just be reactionary. We have to start taking responsibility for the Jewish community. And we have to start uh, really figuring out what's going to happen next, what the world's going to look like next.